All right, hello, beautiful people. So today we have a fun, amazing, unique deck I have. Uh, before I even explain what it is, um, I did change things around kind of last minute because this was an older deck that I was having fun with. So I did have more traps, which you will see is important because, um, you know, I had Artifact Scythe and, you know, their trap card that's easy to summon him. So I definitely might tune this around more, but I thought, you know what, might as well show this in the meantime because it still is fun. It's just obviously uh, you want more traps for uh, Lord of Heavenly Prison. But these are the four main kind of boss monsters. Um, obviously the starter with, uh, you know, the Invoke Engine. Elemental Hero Neos, Heavenly Prison, and then um, the Ogdo Abyss. So this is definitely a fun concept. Trying to have four different, very strong, different win conditions. Um, you know, because you have two spam engines. Then you have two engines that are also fairly easy to get out, but also just very strong with their effects. You know, whether it's uh, for back row, and then also uh, with, you know, blowing up the field. And still 3100, which is you know, beats over almost everything now. So yes, let's start off. We have the three invoked, Alistair the invoked, invoker. So yes, he's definitely, you know, beautiful aspect of that. Then we have three elemental hero Neos. The great thing about um, with the invoked engine and Neos is uh, you know, he's not really dead because you can still send him off to the grave, you know, for Alistair. So uh, that's the great thing about it. Um, and then also, what, if we're talking about cards that are good to send off to the grave because of Alistair, it is also the Ogdo Abyss. Just because his main thing is being special summoned from the graveyard. So to get him in the graveyard, um, Alistair is an amazing thing. Because the main uh, monster with Alistair we want to summon is obviously Mechaba, which requires light monsters. So that's why, uh, you know, Neos and him are perfect together. And then lastly, but not least, uh, the Dark Engine. Um, you know, gotta have Lord of Heavenly Prison. Still one of the most beautiful, um, I think, monsters, you know, that comes in Secret Rare, of course. Um, he's just super easy to summon. Um, it's just amazing that he has 3k attack and defense uh, because I feel like especially nowadays so many people have different cards that are running, you know, Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse. So no matter what, even if he somehow is in defense, um, it's not like you need to worry about, you know, him being easily just like trucked over. Um, so, you know, you could obviously play the long haul game stalling with him. But obviously, uh, he is just uh, great because he's very easy to special summon out and all that. And yeah, it's just good having the light and darks because you can easily have a nice chaos engine in this, which, you know, I thought for fun, I'll do a little bit. Uh, three, Necro Garna. You're probably wondering, like, what? I haven't seen this card in forever. Um, but you'll see um, that he plays a f role because, you know, uh, level four under Warrior Monster, so uh, four the spamming of, what is it, like Warrior Neos, um, gotta have the one, uh, you know, Armageddon Knight, because to this day, still terrific with, you know, easily thinning your deck and, you know, using him for various ways, um, probably one of the more newer additions, you know, uh, you know, gotta have any Bistils, um, he's just super great because, you know, it's just, doesn't matter for any of your lighter darks. Easy to special summon. 2500 is still, you know, solid. So to just have more options to swarm the field is nice. So obviously, we gotta have these paired together. Gotta have the black and white dragon. Um, cause, yeah, it's just very easy for getting them out. Uh, whether it's just for thinning the deck or obviously spamming the field. Um, Again, when I was altering things around, I thought, you know what, let's see what fun cards I have laying around in binders. So this was one of them, Chaos Greffer, just because um, the fact that you can just send um, a light or dark and then send the opposite light or dark too, and he counts as a light or dark as well. Um, I just thought that was honestly such a fun, unique card that I was like, you know what, I have one, let's find a place to throw them in there and yeah kind of uh kind of enjoy that you know 
Um, because I remember Dark Reffer back in the day, I used to make work with, uh, my Teledad deck way, way long ago, which is crazy to think about. Um, yeah, the one Ecclesia, just because also very easy to special summon, and, yeah, I had an extra one lying around, and that's, it's just funny, because obviously the other effect, you know, that kind of makes it, like, negative, like, it doesn't matter, you know, we just focus on the, being able to spam to the field, and, yeah, it works, honestly, you know, because it's just another... Uh, light monster. Um, I think also will, does work with Neos, because I think it's just an effect monster. I don't even think it needs to be a warrior for, you know, four or under, but, um, so either way you can just use this for, uh, you know, link climbing, or obviously, um, Neos or Invoked for, you know, their other halves of fusion summoning. So yeah, and then also another card of just laying around too, I thought would be fun, is Rainbow Karibo. Um, you know, in case somehow the rest of your hand is kind of dead, he does help with stalling of blocking an attack, which I thought was super nice. And, yeah, again, it's just, like, a beautiful, fun, um, secret that I had, so I thought, you know what, let's find a way to use it, because I feel like I had it in older decks, but just, yeah, just had it laying around. Um, and then obviously you gotta have the one Magical Meltdown, and then we dive into... The three invocation, just because obviously you need it, and it's just amazing how it's just so easy to constantly, re you know, the recursion. Um, it's honestly crazy how the invoked engine is not used in more decks because it's just funny how it's you know been meta crap, but it still is just super fun, super easy. Um, and then we have Neos Fusion because also uh, really good with just you know being able to send things back for recursion. Um, and yeah, that's the amazing thing, because literally, um, it also sends from deck, which is just crazy to think about, so, uh, that's even more deck thinning, um, that's kind of what I like about this deck, is, in a sense, it's like, you don't even need to focus on draw, just because it's just very easy to thin it, and get what you want, and then we have three mass change, um, just because we run a lot of darks, that, in a sense, that's our other boss monster that I kind of wanted to keep a surprise. We literally can have so many plays and then also have Dark Law. That is crazy. Do you understand that? Beat Sticks, Dark Law, uh, Recursion, it's, it's just wild. Um, and then also I could take these out for more traps. Uh, these are kind of just, you know, the standard kind of like fun old school staples. A Monster Reborn, a Change of Heart, Harpy's Feather Duster, um... Just because they are good. They're useful. So, it's just crazy to think when I remember all those were banned and now they're legal again. Now we dive into the traps. And like I said with Heavenly Prison, um, I definitely need to change this around so that way we have more. Um, so, in the meantime, we have three back to the front. Uh, just because it is a great card because uh, you just special summon anything from your graveyard in defense. Um, so, especially works with um, Ogdo Abyss. Uh, cause that's kind of the main card you want to bring back because his whole effect is of being special summoned from the graveyard. Um, but obviously it works for almost anything and a lot of them do have strong defense so it's a win-win. And there really is no negative effect because obviously yeah you special summon it in defense. But if you do it on your turn then you could easily just flip them to attack. But either way if it's on your opponent's turn, uh, guess what? You now just have, you know, a strong wall in case, you know, you need it somehow. And then the final trap card, which I really like this card, is uh, Double Hooking. Um, you know, obviously, it is kind of a downside because it is like a Call of the Haunted, but you just discard one, special summon two, so um, I feel like that kind of makes the drawback worth it. Um, if they don't have, like, any back row that, you know, you think would pop yours, or, or negate it. It's, you know, great. And even if somehow it is negated, sometimes just doing the cost of discarding one may actually help you out. So, let's dive into the extra deck. Um, I usually divide it, you know, by spells. I mean, not spells. Uh, you know, uh, links and all that jazz. But, firstly, I kind of just want to dive into Artemis. Uh, you know, because it helps with the invoked engine. Um, which I feel like is a very common play, so if I have no light monsters, which is very rare, but, you know, just in case, um, can always just do the solo, uh, Alistair into Artemis, and then boom, do the whole play, so I have two, and then we dive into, uh, you know, kind of the main guy of this all is Mechaba, just because 
he's just so good, you know. And the amazing thing is, too, what so many people forget is um, Alistair's other effect in hand, where, you know, in case someone's trying to beat over this, because, yeah, 2500 isn't the strongest. Like, you literally saw the Bestials, they can easily special summon out, are 25 also. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a quick effect that you can use in the battle phase to literally increase the attack by a 1,000. So uh, that's come up uh, more than you would think. Um, since now so many cards besides having good effects have decent attack, so, um, that's been super cool, super nice, um, so yeah, it's kind of a win-win with that, uh, and then the one, uh, Caliga, because we do run a lot of darks, and obviously this is really good, because it's, um, it's kind of like Dark Law, where it's like, you, after you do your other plays, you'll then summon him out, and he's great, so, once you have all your beat sticks out, and then him, you know, it'll make them less reluctant to want to attack over just because, you know, if they're in attack, then your other monsters will definitely uh, just run right over them. So, uh, it is a win-win. That, and then we have the three Dark Law, um, you know, just because you can always still mass change from him to him, um, you know, in case you want more damage or anything like that. Um, so you never feel like you're truly restricted, you know, even summoning Kalaga, because you're like, oh, well, you know, would it hurt me? Is it too weak? But no matter what, um, you know, Dark Law will save the day. Uh, to this day, still a very underrated card. Um, and it's just amazing because a lot of people keep forgetting, like, how good this is because it's only affecting your opponent. It does not affect you at all, which is crazy, because what is it? Uh, is it Shen Shen? Um, you know, the Virtual World card? I think that's all um, cards. So it's like a macrocosmos, you know, for everyone, whereas Dark Law is literally just your opponent. You know, it's kind of like, uh, was it, the newest Kashira? So it's kind of, you know, still, you know, broken when you think about it. Um, and also it uh, stops your uh, opponent... Yeah, like, if they're trying to draw also, like, that secondary effect. I feel like everyone forgets about the secondary effect, but, um, it still is useful. And let us dive into, then, over here. Yes, it is Brave Neos. So, yeah, that, that's what I was saying before. Um, it is a level 4 or lower effect monster, so it doesn't even need to be a warrior. Because at first I was thinking it has to be a warrior. No, it doesn't. So it's really crazy. Um... Because we just have so many options in this deck. Obviously, uh, Necrogarden I have just because it's an old school kind of fun stall option. But um, even if you feel like you don't need the Karibo, guess what? You could just use the Karibo. It's literally like a level 4 lower effect monster. So this is just so splashable. Also, its effect just helps with the recursion of, you know, getting the fusion card again. So that's why I really just love this deck. It's a very fun... Uh, splash deck and now the last cards we have are uh, ip masquerada we have nightmare unicorn and we have a zora Boros. um i feel like this is definitely like you know a very situational card but still fun um so the, and also it's just so easy because it literally is just only two effect monsters so um if you have unicorn and then you do decide you just add one more and you're good to go but, yeah, I feel like that's super simple. Uh, this is a super fun deck. And like I said before, you can easily alter it around. But, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you later.